This is my dirty backpack. And this is Babushka's bank. Ага, сейчас я тогда посчитаю и пойду. Это мало ли. Ничего себе. А я сейчас вот, если в кафе пойду, там рюкзак повешу где-нибудь, и у меня его могут это, да, украсть. Надо застраховать. Классно, да, сейчас. И всего 1600 рублей. Сколько вы сказали? Insure my cash. They want to insure my cash. Seriously. In a bank, they want to insure. And then, after that, They will block my account and then withdraw my money without my permission, like they did already many times. Seriously, I am not an idiot to insure my money. I'll withdraw my money and I'll spend it today. I've got a little bit of cash and maybe I'll buy a new house. I'm, I'm just looking now. I, I like how people change their look how they look at you, how they uh, evaluate you when they see your money, for example, when you withdraw in your cash $10,000 per time. And I see, I see the change in their eyes, the eyes light up, they smile and they become very polite and nice to you. They want to suck your dick. This is how people are. In Russia. Selfish Russian people. I'm sick of you. Insure my money. Do you remember the chicken coffee house? And now this is Palace House. Coffee house. This is Palace Palace Coffee House. <laughs> Very rich coffee house. Not for poor people like me and you. But I'll show it to you now. Where to put my dirty backpack? Maybe here? Oh no, 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 not here. It's too clean, too clean for me. Maybe, maybe here. Oh no, no, it's too clean for me. It's very clean chair. Or maybe here. Chicken perch. No, I think this pal palace is not for me. It's not for poor people like me with my dirty boots. I have to go. There is no single customer in the first palace. P coffee palace, there is no customers. Because it is palace, it must be clean. Chairs must be clean. This is why there is no customers, and this is how successful it is. Because, because the owner is Russian, with Russian mindset. This is how it works. And now we are going to the second palace. Another coffee palace in this Russian village. And then we will see how many customers in there. But I think I cannot sit here. This table is taken, and this single table is also taken, and chicken perch also taken. I think I should go, I should go and find another one. Wow, really success, really successful story, yes. Здорово, здорово. А секретный канал нельзя смотреть никому. Реально? Да. Скажите, пожалуйста. А что ты будешь смотреть? Ну ладно, скажу. Хермит Фрогович, подписывайся, ставьте лайки. The day before yesterday, on Sunday, I've been drinking tea. And I was sitting and I thought, oh, very great, I, I will sit quietly here, I will do my, do my work on my laptop. 
But then all of, all of a sudden, the owner of this coffee house came and another woman came that was a teacher of piano, piano teacher. And she started getting piano classes. She started singing and playing very loudly. Oh, and I was holding my hand and I was sitting there for about two hours and listening to this noise. Uh, it was like a hammer on my brain. It was about one meter away from me. But I was just thinking, okay, maybe soon they will finish this procedure and then they will leave. But when they finished, this, this owner of this coffee house turned around and she looked at the coffee table and she saw a visitor and she started talking with arrogance like this she said i'm tired of cleaning or oh, i'm tired of dry cleaning these chairs why do you put your dirty backpack over there on this chair put it on these hangers and she talked to this visitor uh, he, it was a guy, young, not old and not young, just a guy. And she talked to him like to a schoolboy. And I was just looking at this quietly. And this owner of the coffee house, she also gave me this disapproval look. Uh, because my backpack was also on the chair. And this is what I do every time and in every cafe because I might have something, some valuable belongings there. And like today, I have a lot of cash in my backpack. And by, by any reason, I need easy access to my backpack and I don't care what do you clean there. It's your job. It's a cafe. People come and people leave, and your job is just to clean and serve your coffee. But this is, this is not the case in Russia, because in Russia they have Russian mindset. And this is why I got really shocked the day before yesterday. This was the first time ever when someone says, don't put your backpack on a chair. This is ridiculous. So, after this case, I thought, okay, not a big deal. I will be searching for another coffee house. And I found, I found that there is a new coffee house which was opened not long time ago. And I went there, I was excited. I thought, oh, great, there is another opportunity for me to do my work and sit there and drink this tea. No, this was a big mistake. So I came there and I talked to this cashier for a while. I was just asking about prices and I noted that the price of tea was quite expensive. 200 rubles per one tea. And I, I said that to her, honestly, but that was a mistake. <laughs> From this saying, she made, she evaluated me immediately. She just thought, hmm, if this is expensive for him, then he must be poor. And he looks like a poor because he has these boots, work boots, work pants. He has a beard. Oh, he must be poor. So, I will not treat him well. This is what was in her mind, as I see. And I said, okay, I will just leave and then I'll come back after a few minutes. I have something to do first. And then I came again. And at, at the second time, when I was about to land somewhere and put my backpack on a chair. 
but I was just looking where is the best table because there was no even single customer there. There was only this seller and her friend. So I was looking like this. Where is the best place for me? And then she saw it and she said, don't take big table. Some other clients might come. If you are going to sit for a long time, take a small one or sit in a corner on this chicken perch where freelancers work. And I was shocked. I've never experienced anything like that in my life. This was a second shock. The day after day. And I was just staying still. I couldn't move for several moments. But then I just turned around and I walked away. And I said, okay, if your coffee house is so busy, I should find some other place. So this is Russian mentality. I was a regular client of this coffee house. I was coming every single day. And this owner talks like this. Not even to me. She didn't tell it to me directly. But I understood her attitude. I, I see how she treats other clients like a shit. So, my patience is over. I made my decision. I will never be in their chicken house anymore. I will be there only when it will bankrupt. I will be waiting for you to bankrupt chicken coffee house. And another this palace with all tables taken. This is another Russian mindset. There is nothing taken and she says don't take it. Everything is free, don't sit here. Only people in Russian village can say to you something like that. They just opened. I'm a potential client. I could come there every single day and generate money for them. And she evaluated me by my look. And she made conclusions. She made wrong conclusions. She didn't see cash in my backpack. And she decided that I'm a poor client. And I cannot pay for a cup of tea. And I will sit there for a long time. This is Russian mindset. And this is why Russian people are so successful in quotes. And I disabled all my comments in Russian channels. Because when I upload some honest videos, I only get disapproval. I only get negativity. People don't appreciate what I say. And I say what is on my mind. I say to you directly what I think. And I will continue to say it. And now I have to go and spend my cash. I have I have to spend it quickly.